Hi, I'm Amy from Eve Spares, and in this video I'll be showing you how to find the model number on your dishwasher. If your dishwasher is in need of replacement parts, then knowing your model number can help you find the right part for your specific machine. Many spare parts look really similar but vary slightly depending on each specific make and model. So if you have your model number on hand when looking for spare parts, it will ensure that you're finding the correct part that's compatible with your machine. If you're trying to diagnose a fault with your machine, then your model number can help you there too, as you'll be able to search for common problems with your specific model. Another reason why knowing your model number is important is for the safety of your appliance. You may have heard news reports of manufacturers recalling appliances from time to time due to safety concerns. These recalls do happen and they can affect any one of your household appliances. Continuing to run your appliance after it's been recalled is a danger to you and your home. When a manufacturer does issue a recall, they'll release a series of makes and models of all the appliances affected by the issue. So if you know your model number, you can check through the list and find out whether yours has been affected and whether it needs to be repaired or replaced to make it safe. For more information on appliance recalls, take a look at our video up here and we'll link even more about appliance safety at the end of this video. So let's help you find your model number on your dishwasher. We're looking for a sticker or a rating plate that'll have all the information we need on it. So let's open the door and have a look around the inside of the door frame and also around the edge of the door itself. And as you can see on this bush dishwasher, the raising plate's here. You can also look on the side and the back of your machine too. If your dishwasher is built in, then you may have to remove the cupboard door to find your model number. This is because sometimes the model number is placed on the front of the machine before the cupboard door is added. So if you can't find your model number elsewhere, this may be worth a try. If your model number is tucked away or out of view, then you can try taking a photo of it on your phone with the flash on or shining a torch to get the information you need off it. This will save you having to pull out your machine. If your model number has become faded or rubbed off, then not to worry, we can still help you find the information you need. Take a look at our video up here where we explain what to do if your model number is no longer readable or you just can't find it. Now that you've hopefully located your model number information, here's what to look for. The format of the model number and product or serial numbers that you may also need can vary depending on the manufacturer of the appliance. The model number, which is typically a combination of letters and numbers and can also contain special characters such as forward slashes or dashes. The data sticker may also indicate which number on there is a model number by saying something like mod or model in front of the number. I'm just going to run through a few other examples of how different model numbers are displayed on different brands. So if you have an AEG, an Electrolux, or a Zanussi model, then you're looking for the model number and also the specific product number, which is usually 11 digits long. It starts with a nine, and before the last two digits, there's either a space or a slash. If you have a Hoover or a Candy model, then you're looking for the model number and also the serial number, which is usually 16 digits long. It starts with a three. And if you have a Whirlpool, an Ignis, or a Balknet model, then you're looking for the model number and also the service number, which is usually 12 digits long and starts with 85. We hope this video has helped you find the model number and the other important information you need on your dishwasher. Be sure to take note of these should you ever need replacement spare parts for your machine. We'll link down below where on our website you can find all the accessories and the spare parts you need to fix your dishwasher yourself. And as promised, here are our appliance safety tip videos so you can keep your dishwasher and your other home appliances safe too. For more maintaining, diagnosing and repairing videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.